Moti. Source of influencers. Can you tell us who you are? Um, Allison Worrell. I'm from Southern California, small area outside of Los Angeles. Little town called Corona. Little town called Corona. Yeah. Can you please tell us how fitness has influenced your life? Fitness has influenced my life. Um, it's, I'm healthy. I, let me tell you a little bit about my journey. Uh, eight years ago, I was overweight, not just having a good time in life. And um, I realized that if I didn't do something about my weight with my bone structure, I have achondroplasia dwarfism, which means short limbs, normal torso, and a few other skeletal um, differences. And I knew that if I did not lose the weight, I would potentially more than likely have to have surgery due to my spinal cord is curved. So with the having to get fusions and um, due to all the extra weight causes nerve damage and other issues. So I joined the gym at age 35, started to lose weight, lose weight, lose weight, lose weight, saw my body changing, made changes to my diet, everything, my lifestyle. Then I decided I wanted to compete. So in 2015, I did my first women's physique competition. I've done seven cents. I've placed five or higher. I've never won. I will. Um, but I am competing in women's physique now. Um, I'm healthy. I love to promote fitness. I love to show people that just because I'm three foot 11, size doesn't matter. I've learned how to modify, adapt all the equipment to make sure I'm executing exercises right, doing things right, to sculpt my body, change my body, and to just continue and keep going. Size does not matter, but what I can tell about you, you've got a very big personality. Tell us about uh, the guys that you're representing. The guys I'm representing with at the Olympia, TC1 Gel, it's one of my sponsors. Um, they're awesome, it's a great, um, product that I use and I incorporate it into my fitness and my daily life and they treat me well, they they support me, they support my bodybuilding career um, and I'm just, you know, blessed to be with them. You joined the gym first at the age of 35. I joined at the age of 35. Did you ever envisage that a company would be approaching you and sponsoring you in what you love to do? Honestly, no. And How did I, that feel? It's awesome. I have, I actually have about five or six solid sponsors that I'm a sponsored athlete for. And um, tell us about the time that first company came to you and said, "Ali, we want to sponsor you." It was like me. Who? I didn't do anything different, but obviously I am. I'm out there showing and defying odds every single day, and that's what I like to promote to people. That just because of my size doesn't mean, you know, you that, you know, I can't do it. It's all about mind and putting your mindset to it. And I try and preach that. So over the course of the time, um, about 20, so 2011 is when I started my journey. 2014, I started a group on Facebook. It's called Help, Health and Exercise for Little People. It's the biggest support group for health and fitness for a little person on Facebook. I run, I moderate it, I show modifications, I show transformations, I help people, I guide people. We talk about maybe somebody's like, hey, who knows where you can get a bike that can fit us? Who knows? We... So it's all, it's just a resource for health and fitness and it's all over the global. And it's one of, like I said, it's one of the largest support groups for little people on Facebook right now. So you've become kind of a, uh, one of those pillars of, the, of, the, of, this, of, this, of this group. I am a, definitely a pillar for people with little, a, a, People that are with dwarfism. Um, there's all, so over 200 types of dwarfism. My type is the most common type, um, but I definitely am, am you know, mo I, I, I like to, uh, let's see, I like to motivate them, you know, show them that they can. I've changed a lot of other people's lives because of that, because then they've changed their mindset. Because obviously, like I keep saying, you walk into a gym, it's intimidating. Nothing in this world is made for someone my size but I've learned how to figure it out. So tell us about how you overcome obstacles because you just mentioned a few. You, you've seen one of those people who just want to smash through them. So like, how do you have that tenacity? Were you born with that or what I, was it? You know, I, I always tell, I always go back to my parents. 
My parents raised me, letting me determine if I could do something or not. They did not, because of my size and because of my condition, they did not say, no, you can't do that. They, and I'm really big about parents. Let your child be your child. Let them grow up because obviously they're going to have to go through this world that wasn't made for them from drinking faucets to bathroom faucets to everything's not at our size, not just the gym, it's the whole world. And so it's something that I always preach to parents. They come to me like, what can I do to help my child? Let your child be your child. Let them figure it out. And that's, I, my parents just let me figure it out and I figured it out and I, you know, I'm like, okay, if I can do it, I can do it. If not, you know what? I'm gonna step back, figure out, and I'm gonna find a way to do it. Follow the Moti on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat.